Joining me now, Congressman David Rouser, Republican from North Carolina. He, by the way, listened to a classified briefing on the shooting, and I'm sure you can't tell me anything that was discussed in there, Congressman. But what was your impression when you left the room? Uh, are we safe, or is there many more threats out there? Well, clearly there are many more threats out there, and I think it's really in uh, to understand the fundamentals that we're dealing with here. The fact of the matter is we live in a spiritual world, and you have good and you have evil. And America has been the greatest force for good that mankind has ever known. And when America ste steps back from the leadership uh, stage from world, world affairs, evil prevails. Uh, we've got to have a comprehensive uh, plan to fight ISIS and uh, these terrorist groups all around the world through social media, through our air campaign, and, and basically uh, we need a commander in chief that uh, listens to our commanders on the ground. We cannot be timid uh, in this war on terror. Uh, because this, this is more than just, just a battle on the battlefield. This is a battle for hearts and minds. And until we start to win that battle for hearts and minds, uh, we're going to continue to have attacks. Uh, it, it, th and their, Congressman, num their numbers are going to continue to grow. Yeah, sorry to interrupt, but it, I want to get back to the briefing, this secret briefing on the San Bernardino incident. Uh, was it an intelligence failure? Is that how it's being described? It's not being described as an intelligence failure. Clearly, we have to do better uh, at all angles in this war on terror. Uh, but the fundamental fact is, until we start putting points on the board, until we start winning uh, and, and start attacking this in a very comprehensive way, we're going to continue uh, to have these kind of events, uh, no matter how tight our security apparatus is here at home and, and no matter how good our intelligence is. We have to start taking it to them. Uh, where they're at uh, so that they're not taking it to us uh, here in the United States. Well, how confident are you if there's another terror cell out there, which the FBI and everyone else says there is most undoubtedly out there, what are the chances we'll be able to stop another terror act uh, with the resources we're using right now? I mean, you know, are, are we learning our lessons or are we still very vulnerable? Well, we're learning lessons all the time, and our uh, FBI agents, uh, uh, all of our intelligence uh, capabilities that we have in place, uh, we learn new things all the time. Uh, the problem is we have to be right 100% of the time. They only have to be right once. And so, again, if we're going to get to the root of the problem and make sure that this homeland is safe, that our country is safe, and that we feel confident uh, in the uh, intelligence apparatuses that we have, we've got to start winning and winning this war overseas uh, and doing it in a number of ways through social media uh, it, as well as our uh, military campaigns. And should we uh, be putting a pause on a, any refugee program? Uh, Donald Trump, of course, has taken it to the next step and saying banning Muslims from coming into the country. Any of that do you agree with? Well, we need to have a security test, not a religious test. Uh, but again, uh, we've got to have a comprehensive strategy. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put stricter controls on our refugee program. We passed a bill here in the House. Uh, we're hopeful that the Senate will take it up uh, shortly, and perhaps it will be in this omnibus package uh, that we'll be uh, reviewing as of next week, uh, it looks like. Uh, so we need to do all of that. We've got to do all of the above to fight this, uh, to fight this battle. All right. Congressman Rouse for North Carolina, thanks so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.